Hello, I'm going to talk about a complex subject today. I'm just going to touch on it though because there's so many things to talk about in the change of direction and that would be transition from the top of the backswing to start down to hit the golf ball. Now it's very important to understand there is no stop at the top of the backswing and then a start down. There's always flow. I spent 30 years with a great player, Ken Ventura, who was a U.S. Open champion, had two great chances to win the Masters. He finished runner-up twice, um, won 14 times on the, on the PGA Tour. He was also a commentator for CBS for 35 years, and he worked with tons of tour players. And I watched him many times work with some of the greatest players in the world. So it was a great learning experience for me. And he had been taught by two great players, Hogan and Byron Nelson. Anyway, like I said, he talked to me about this two-way action where before you're up to the top of your backswing, you're starting this little move forward. And I've called that a fall toward the target. Now, some people feel this differently. They might feel it with their left knee, their right knee, their hips, the core, their belt, something starting before you finish your backswing. So this is, I said, a, a complex subject. And I have to have many ways to get people to start this movement toward the, toward the target prior to finishing here at the top. We see so many people go up to the top and they tense their arms or they pull the club down or they turn their shoulders from the top of the backswing. Obviously, you know that. That's a bad move. That's something that is generally caused by the impulse to hit at the golf ball. I need you to feel a little more patience. And as you're turning back, there's this move forward. So the shoulders are still actually turning back. The arms and the hands are still going back and you're starting this little move forward. So that's, that's a touch on this very complex move. We, we have a lot of people on Instagram and YouTube talking about manipulating the club and shallowing the club. That's all good, but it really comes from better body action. So I'm going to hit one little shot here for you. I'm going to try and, well, I'm going to do one swing this way, full swing, to show you what I'm talking about. I'm here and I'm starting this little movement forward. You can also feel a little sit down, but the feeling for me is while the club is still kind of hanging up here in the air, I can feel I'm pushing down a little bit on my left foot or my left knee is moving. That's kind of the feeling that I have, but it's definitely not starting from the upper body, not rotating over the top. When I do this correctly, the beautiful thing that happens is the club does fall down. That's because I'm not tight, I'm relaxed in my arms, I'm letting gravity drop the golf club, and this club head naturally works a little bit off to the side. That's what a, a top player would do. So let me see if we can give it a try here. Well, let's see if that helps you get a better understanding of the transition starting down. I'm at the back of the range at the Biltmore Hotel. This is where we do our teaching. Love to invite you down to see us someday. We've got a lot of great teachers here. I'm here almost every day. You can check us out, check me out on this YouTube channel. I'll give it a like and I hope to see you down here in Miami.